Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Make It Happen. I just recently did a reaction video to English Frank, who was a part of the People's Army Cypher that I did just last night. A man by the name of Extasio told me in the comment section uh, one by one who each of them was. And the first one was English Frank. The second one was Logic. And he told me to check out one called Stand Up Before I Stand Down. He said basically that Logic was more spiritual and knowledgeable which is a total, which is the total opposite of my man English Frank, who was more on that grimy, you busted my house, I'm gonna shoot you in the head twice type of shit. So you know, I think I'm, I'm, I, I can't wait to see this one, man. I know it's gonna be like, no, like very knowledgeable, man. Let me go ahead and hop into it right quick. Greatest quotes ever. So, so, so. Listen, I stand up before I stand down to any man. No man should have the right over any man. God's the one that I look up to, but many man only know God before they go to bury man. Power's overrated. After people get the power, then they grow to hate it. We are all people only learn to know God before they bury man. I like this shit. a policeman a civil servant when he's not even a simple person simple person I always say, man, in my videos, man, love, self-love is the most important out of any type of love. Like he said, it makes the weak vanish. Man, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into it, man. He's spitting some knowledge. I stand up before I stand down. I am not a member of the sheep. I'm a general. I stand for the people. I stand for the. 
like how he's speaking on world events like free Palestine, Palestine. Man, so yeah, man, I'm gonna get back into it. greatest emperor in the world can be powerless if he doesn't know himself like you know what i'm saying like if he's not eating the right food if he's not loving others the way he would like to be loved if he's not treating others the way he or she would like to be treated then he's never powerful like he doesn't even have power over his own his own self his own righteous body you know what i'm saying his own spirit his own soul he does, like this person has no control over him or him his or herself so I don't believe that anybody has control over me but myself. So that's real power. If you, once you have, like, Rakim said in his song, uh, Set Him Straight, that the last thing that I need is a spotlight because I already got light. If you got light inside of you, man, that's the only power you need. But, look, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him finish. Yeah, told you I stand up before I stand down. Once you really know to love thyself, man, you'll you'll understand. According to this song, you'll understand why it's so important to stand up for yourself. Because once you become a righteous person, you start living righteously, eating righteously, and treating others righteously. You you should start getting treated righteously in return. If if not, then if you feel like you're living righteous and you're doing right by yourself and by others, and somebody's still not showing you the respect you deserve, that's when you stand up for yourself. If for some reason somebody's not showing you respect, however, either it's because they're in the wrong or maybe there's something you, you need to change about yourself. So that's why I believe self-improvement is always important, man. We should always be working on our body, eating the right way and treating others the way we want to be treated. I, like I said, man, I believe in this universe stuff, man. Like some, like do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I believe if somebody's treating you a certain way, it's because you treated somebody else a certain way. Like maybe a week before the shit, the shit happened, you know, what I'm, or maybe maybe even five years before it happened, man. But something always comes back around. But never be afraid to stand up to it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you had to set. Sometimes you had to set them straight. Sometimes. uh you had to put your foot down and understand when enough is enough. I'm not saying get overly emotional about it because I feel like we should all have emotional intelligence. We shouldn't let people get the best of us. But I also believe that if you feel something is wrong, you should uh, firmly state your point as to why it is wrong and tell them, you know, like I had that problem today, you know what I'm saying? But like somebody was, you know, I didn't like the way they're talking to me. I instead of me getting angry about it and rash about it, I told them, you know, and they called me a smart ass. I was like, you know, like well, I just let them. I, I didn't let them have it. I let them know. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? I basically said it in this tone of voice. I was very calm about it. I've become very like I'm. I think the universe every day that I've become more and more emotional. You know, emotionally intelligent. But at the same time, I can still stand up for myself before I stand down. So, yeah, man, Logic was spitting some real truth here, man. I, I can re today I can relate to it. 
man. So it's it's a very you know powerful message. But yes, man, this like this. Okay, the first one was English, Frank. The second one was Logic. The third one, uh, I cannot remember. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that list. But man, Extasio, I believe, was his name. He commented all the people in the People's Army cipher that I reacted to last night. So shout out to Extasio, man. I appreciate the love and everything, man. Like I said, I appreciate all of y'all, man, commenting what y'all want to hear next, man. I appreciate that. And y'all y'all been showing me love from day one, man. I'm going to go back, man. I'm going to write down every one of the requests that y'all asked me to do. I'm going to go check and see if I already did it. If I haven't, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go ahead and react to it. But like I said, man, don't ever be afraid to comment twice. I, mean, I don't even care if y'all have to cuss me out, man. Go, you know, let me know what y'all want to hear next, man. Y'all are my fans. Y'all are my subscribers. Y'all are my fan base, man. Y'all are my viewers. Y'all are my lifeline on this channel, man. So please inform me on what y'all want to hear next, man. And I'll definitely get to it as soon as possible, man. So I'm going to get off of here for right now. Peace. I'm out.